Look, my message for leaders and teachers is pretty simple. We have, in Australia at the moment, a pretty effective school system. But complacency may lead us to losing that. Not portraying in schools that the biggest source of variance in student learning is about the expertise of the teachers and the school leaders. Their job is to have an impact on students' learning. And of course, that begs the question, what does impact mean? And I think that's where a very robust discussion in the school and across the system about what impact means is pretty critical. What does a year's growth look like for a year's input? The job we ask teachers to do is to have that year's growth for a year's input. It is about progress, no matter where they start. Some students need a lot more than the year's growth, but everyone needs at least that year's growth. And so that constant focus on what that year's growth means, what it looks like, are we getting all students to get their year's growth is really what we should be obsessed about in this business. We keep thinking assessment is primarily to help students understand how well they're going. And yes, that's, a, that's obviously a benefit, but the biggest benefit is assessment as feedback to teachers about their impact. That's why it's pretty critical that we are constantly, as teachers, uh, open and create situations where we can receive feedback about our impact so that we can then make the adjustments and the moment-to-moment -moment decisions that are really critical for the learning experience. It's just too hard to ask one teacher to make the difference. It does require a team, and particularly in school, every adult in the school should be working together and owning all the students and critiquing what's happening in the classrooms in terms of the impact we're having on students. And we need great school leaders who can build a very trusting environment. Because look, we're not going to say that we're struggling with a student or it's not working so well over here unless we have high trust. It's true in the classroom. It's true also in the staff room. And so building that collaborative trust so that the kind of critique and discussion can happen so we're all in it together to make the difference. But we should also dramatically privilege those that have the highest impact and understand what that means because that's the way we're going to privilege the expertise. That's the way we're going to get a professional workforce that we have the absolute foundation of at the moment to sustain us as we move forward.